before that the starting position doesn't matter, but all we're concerned about today is that championship point. And this man, Gilles Deferrin, now knows that his competitors haven't gained on him at all. He still has the advantage that he came into the weekend. So I would think from his standpoint now, he's going to do what he needs to to get the most out of the car. But as Jan interviewed Rick earlier, they won't take any unnecessary risks and hang it out that extra little bit. Well, if anyone has uh, a comfort zone, if you could call it that, Jill DeFerrin has it, uh, but it's not by much. I would think, but watching Adrian Fernandez's car, I would think that obviously Adrian had a problem with his car's handling. Um, he just wasn't driving the line that I would expect, but they'll have that car right for tomorrow's race. And you watch the last 50 miles. If they haven't experienced a mechanical problem or some problems in the pits, Adrian Fernandez will be there. You saw Roger Penske with Al Unser Jr. and his father. Bobby Unser is here as well. In fact, most of the champions out of the kart history are here watching today and will be honored at the annual kart banquet to be held in Los Angeles on Monday night. Right now, as Jill DeFerrin continues to work it up to speed, less than one second covers the first 18 cars in this field. 24 have qualified. What a turnaround for Penske Racing has been this year, too. Suddenly moving away from the tried and true combinations that they've supported for so long that finally weren't working for them. Roger makes the decision to move over to the Honda engine. They move on to Firestone tires. But at the time, they didn't know that Goodyear was going to be out of the series this year. And they moved to the Reynard chassis. And, of course, two new drivers for the year with Gilles DeFerrin and Elio Castanevis. So they started with a clean sheet of paper and are now leading the championship, posting great performances on all sorts of circuits during the first year. The telltale sign, though, was that Penske 100th victory that came at Nazareth at the hands of this driver, Gilles DeFerrin. At this stage of the game, the one point for the pole would be nice, but not necessary. Michael Andretti at 239.097 miles an hour. That's the target. On the qualifying run, two laps to go, four miles. Adrian Fernandez is well, well down in the field, second in the points, five behind this man, Jill DeFerrin. suggested flat all the way around. First lap for Jill DeFerrin, 241.428 miles an hour. That breaks Mauricio Guzman's record, that breaks the close sports record, and that puts him on the pole. What a surprise that is. Wow. <laughs> I'm stunned. Oh, and it didn't look all that fast. No, it shows you how easy it can be if the car is exactly right, and the car had to be, and I have to tell you that Whatever Honda produced for this weekend that's sitting behind Gilles DeFerrin has got to be spectacular. Gilles DeFerrin's always done the development work for Honda during the course of the race weekends, has always had the development motors. That was huge. He only needed that one. He only took that one, and his Honda sits. Well, California Speedway, the qualifying is complete, and Gilles DeFerrin just blew everybody else into the weeds as he picked up his fifth pole of the year. 11th of his career and uh, out distances second quick Michael Andretti for two and a half seconds breaking the track record and the closed course record at the same time we show you the entire starting field for the running of the 500 round 20 of the cart FedEx championship series here's Gary Gerald and here's the man who has the fastest qualifying lap in championship auto racing teams history Jill DeFerrin we started out this show talking about the importance of bonus points and how you've mastered that this year what does this one point mean going into the showdown tomorrow to you I think it means a lot, you know, it puts me one point further ahead uh, of Adrian and that could mean any, everything tomorrow, Obviously, we, we don't know just yet, but uh, it could mean a lot tomorrow, so uh, just got to, you know, obviously very, very happy about today, but uh, we got to try to calm down and, uh, and see what we can do tomorrow. It was a perfect lap, congratulations, now you got to try to put 250 of them together tomorrow, good luck. Thank you Gary, thank you.